Okay, so I'm here in the hallway outside of our drawing room, and I'm just gonna draw this hallway down here um, in a demo to demonstrate um, our on-site drawing. So you might decide to draw inside the building somewhere, um, or you're gonna draw outside the building, you know, depending on the weather. So now, in, in a one-point perspective situation, okay, if I am looking straight down a hallway like this, remember, if my sight line is perpendicular to the back wall, exactly perpendicular and level, then I am doing a one-point perspective. As soon as I come into a situation where I'm looking at a more obtuse angle and I'm not looking at a perpendicular plane in the back, it is no longer two-point perspective, or one-point perspective, sorry. It is now two-point perspective, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate real quick how to begin this drawing because it's it's sort of uh, it's sort of intimidating to be in a space like this and look at it and think, well, where do I begin? So the first thing that I want to do is I want to create that perpendicular plane, which is the back wall, the one that has the door and the exit sign right there. Okay. So I can, and I also am going to be establishing a scale. So if I make that back wall this big, I'm going to have almost no perspective. If I make it really tiny, I'm gonna have a ton of perspective. So I'm gonna kind of somewhere in the middle, put it about this size right here. Now, the first thing I can do is I can kind of uh, just fake it a little bit and just without even measuring, I'm just gonna to try to pretend that I know exactly the size. Now, automatically, right now, I can check and see if I'm correct, okay? So I'm gonna use my sighting and I'm gonna measure the width of the wall and let me do that again, width of the wall, and I'm gonna compare it to the height. Okay, so the width gets me to about here, okay? So what that means is I have not made it wide enough. So I need to go ahead and make it just a bit wider. Okay, using that organizational line. Now compare the width to the height. That's exactly what I see when I look up at the uh, hallway. So let me erase my mistake, okay? I can already darken this up a bit, like so, okay? Now the next move I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanishing point. I happen to be standing just right of center, and I'm at this height, so my vanishing point would be about right here, okay? If you put your vanishing point off to the side, up or down, that just tells me you're standing on a ladder or you're um, on a chair or whatever. But where I'm at right now, I am right here, okay? So that becomes my vanishing point. Now, lines of convergence, I can go ahead and draw that. I can draw that, that, and here, okay? So I've already done that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and count the ceiling tiles. One, two, three, four. There are four ceiling tiles equidistant. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I make a notch on the back wall there to do those ceiling tiles, lines of convergence. There it goes. Okay, let's go ahead and draw the door. It's not quite in the center of the room. It's just off to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna put my door in here. And before I um, decide that it's accurate, I'm gonna do a few measurements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from here to here and come down into the door and see how many I have. One, two, almost exactly three, okay? One, two, oops, not big enough, or not small enough. So let's go up here. One, two, three, a little bit bigger. One, two, three, just about there. Okay, so let's bring that door up to about here. Double check my work. One, two, three, there we go. So that's how tall the door is. Now let's figure out how wide the door is. I'm gonna measure the distance from this corner to the door right here. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, about three and a half. One, two, three, about three and a half. So this line right here is correct. Okay, now the width of the door. 
going to measure the width of the door. <laughs> I'll just go over here. Okay. Pass out through there. All righty. Quick draw the person walking down the hallway. <laughs> um, so the width of the door is almost equal from the door to the corner. So I'm actually right on that too. So here is my door right here. Okay, and I'm good to go. So now I've drawn a correct door. Notice how there are two doors to the left and right of the room. How do I draw those? Remember what we did in our one point. I'm gonna make a little notch on here. I'm gonna come through and that's gonna be the top of that door. Make a notch here, come through. This is gonna be the top of that door. Now, where are they? I'm gonna measure the width of this door, find out how many it takes to get to this side door. One, two, a little over two. One, two, a little over, boom, right there. Okay, this is the door going into the painting room. I can measure the, the, the width too, but for now I'm just gonna speed it up and do that. Okay, how many does it take to get to the side door here? One, gets me to the leading edge. So I go one like that, there it is. There's the side door going into the, the room next to our drawing room. There's the width of it, just real thin. Okay, let's look at the lights, the fluorescent lights up at the ceiling. The first one I can probably just go ahead and put in pretty easily. There's that first fluorescent light. What about the second one? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the top of the wall to the top of the door, and I'm gonna stack that up and see where it hits that second light. Okay, it actually hits right at the leading edge of it. So this line right here is the leading edge of that second light. What about the third light? Using my sighting, one, two. Two of those gets me up just past the middle of the light. So one, two, I'm just past the middle. Let's go up a little bit more. And there's approximately our third light right here. And again, you could, you could tweak that even more. What about this fourth light? Am I even gonna see it? One, two, three. A little over three gets me to the fourth light. One, two, three, a little over, there's the fourth light. It's gonna be up in here somewhere, okay? Got some of these, and some of these things you can just hand draw in once you have enough information. Okay, so we have these little lights right here. You go up a little bit more, uh, almost touching that other one. You get that one right there. Okay, then this one's touching that one. So again, you're using a lot of the information that you already have on your paper to kind of help you draw the next things. Here we go above this one right here. We come up over into there like that. Okay, and right on down the line. What about uh, floor tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Come down here through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's your floor tiles. Right away, since you already have some information, you could go ahead and add the, the carpet back through the doorway there. We can add the beginning of the brown doors through the hall that take you outside. We can go ahead and draw, and again, you're gonna do a better job with this. I'm just doing a quick demonstration. So I can start adding a lot of this stuff because I've already got quite a bit of information here. So I'm just putting these brown doors in right there. Here's my exit sign right up here. Okay, just like that. And then once you've done that and you're happy with your, your uh, measurements and your drawing, you start putting in some more information, start darkening it in a little bit. Those doorknobs, I'm gonna hold, remember how we were talking about holding that pencil straight across like that? Those doorknobs, the bottom one is literally right here, okay? Or the one to the left. And the top one is just above here. So it's right over here like that, okay? Comes in like that. Draw my doors. And again, if you guys really, really wanna use a straight edge, I suppose you could, but um, and we don't need to do any shading. 
Okay, here's your door handles there. So everything's drawn pretty correctly here. Okay, so now if you want to get a shot of that and then kind of show it's the a little light, um... maybe go a little bit closer. Okay, and then aim it up to the hallway now. Okay, and there you go. So that's kind of the beginning of it. Of course, this is a relatively easy hallway here that I picked. If you want to make it more complicated and pick up staircases and a bunch of furniture and other things, you can shop around the building for that. But um, that's all for now. I hope that helps. This is for one point perspective. Remember, if you look away and you do a two point perspective, you're still doing everything I did, except they don't converge to the vanishing point. You're just using your sighting, similar to what you're going to do with your box drawing, is you're just kind of constructing it, you're dragging angles down, you're doing measurements um, using your sighting. So hope this helps and I will post this and um, this will be due not for quite a while. We'll have, we'll have plenty of time to work on this one. We want a pretty detailed line drawing. We don't need any shading or anything like that. And you don't have to put every single detail in there, but the more the merrier. So thank you.